If you've been following me on TikTok or Instagram, then you'll know that I've challenged myself to paint every single country using Google Earth. I've just completed every single country beginning with A, B and C. So I thought today I'd make a video flipping through my sketchbooks. Here's the countries beginning with A and B and here's the countries beginning with C. Uh, yeah, I've already filled a whole sketchbook with them. If you're wondering what sketchbook I'm using, it's the Stillman and Byrne Alpha series. So the paper is actually not that thick, but the good thing about these sketchbooks is the paper really takes a lot of water and can kind of survive everything you throw at it. The other great thing about these sketchbooks is they have a lot of pages in them. So that's quite helpful when I'm doing a challenge like this where I just have so many paintings that I'm doing. There are 195 countries in the world. So I'm on, I think the 45th country so far. Um, but yeah, I've still got a long way to go, but I thought I would show you the first three letters of the alphabet in country form. So let's have a look at the sketchbooks. So this is the very first sketchbook with all the countries beginning with A and B in it. This one I found a little tricky with all the perspective, it was a bit hard. I really like Andorra, the scene that I found was amazing, it's just so interesting to see what you can find on Google Earth. Now here things started to bleed through from the other pages which is quite annoying. It got even worse when I got to Antigua and Barbuda. It's basically a bit ruined but um, I think I realised it once I got to here and I, I stopped putting the paint right down the crease of the page. So if you're, if you're looking to do this yourself and painting a lot across the page then I would definitely suggest just keeping an eye on the, the middle of the sketchbook just to make sure there's no paint going back to the other pages. Now this was in Australia so I actually painted this on location but I did two drawings. So this is the first one I did and for some reason I didn't like it. I'm not actually quite sure now why because I, I actually think that's fine but this is what I eventually ended up with. So sometimes when I'm painting I do end up doing two drawings as you'll see here as well for Austria. Um, I think I got the perspective a bit off there, so then I, I straightened it up for, for the final painting. But I definitely don't get it perfect every single time. Uh, but that's why it's so great doing it in these sketchbooks because there's just so many pages, so you really can just take your time with it. I really like doing the beach scenes as well. There's just so many cool ones around. Oh yeah, this, I don't know what happened there, um, but that was Bahrain, so it ended up looking like that. I, I try not to use pencil too much when I'm doing my drawings, just because I find that I just end up erasing just so many times and I just find I concentrate better if I'm just using a pen because I know that I can't erase it. But sometimes it does lead me into slight issues, but that's fine, it's all a learning process. This one was interesting because on a 360 photo on Google Earth, it's quite a circular photo, so I almost got to practice a bit of circular perspective, which was quite fun. This one was just fun going underwater. I didn't even know that you could go underwater in Google Earth, so that was really cool. And this one was interesting, I was just trying out a different technique and, and trying not to do any drawing. Then for Bosnia, there were so many different scenes that I wanted to paint for this one, so I just kept changing my mind. <laughs> and I think I painted three different scenes before I finally found the famous bridge that everyone knows in Bosnia. And yeah, that I really like that one.
Now here I was starting to have some issues with my sketchbook because <laughs> I didn't realise that it wasn't fully open when I started painting and this is a very good lesson of making sure you've fully opened your sketchbook before you start because a lot of these paintings just have this big white gap down the middle now which is really annoying and I think it took me until I got to Canada before I actually noticed. Uh, still doing it here. Yeah, still doing it there. Oh, it's just really annoying. But then I finally realized it when I got to these ones. So there's no, there's not a white gap down every single painting. That would be very annoying. So yeah, always make sure that your sketchbook is properly open before you start painting. This view in China was amazing. I really want to go here to the Li River. It just looks so beautiful. And I think I tried this one a few times as well. Columbia, I love this painting. I think this is one of my favorite ones. I just love the colors in it. And Columbia is just such a colorful place anyway. And Costa Rica, I, I did a lot of negative painting around that waterfall, which I think is a really nice effect. And Havana, I definitely struggled with this one to find the right scene because I wanted to get the cars in there, but I think I found a good one in the end. There's so many cool cars around Havana, so I wanted to make sure that I got that in there somewhere. Cyprus, who knew that Cyprus had a ski lift? And finally, Czechia or the Czech Republic. So that's everything. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week. And if there's anything you want to see from me, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I better go and start on all the countries beginning with D.